Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this training session, Target 300 a day per contract, the Master Trader program. So in today's program, I'm going to be recapping a number of trades, but most importantly, in today's session, we're going to be focusing on how to trade divergence very very important even though I might be looking at the futures markets uh, we'll look at uh, some trades on gold ES uh, CL and maybe the NQ we'll just see how we go for time please remember these setups are applicable to all markets whether you trade futures Forex or stocks it really doesn't matter so as we get underway you've probably heard this statement before the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results and the reason I bring this up is one of the greatest challenges I tend to find for traders is actually trading divergence and if I look at traders that have been struggling over the years and remembering I've been doing this now for 25 plus years and I've dealt with thousands of traders and when I sit down and analyze a traders poor performance usually a very high percentage of the time it comes down to divergence trading so I really want to raise some red flags here and just give you some warnings early so the first one is the person who catches two rabbits catches none meaning if you are divergence trading and trend trading it can be very difficult because quite often you can enter a divergence trade only to see the may the market take off as a trend continuation trade and you miss that trend continuation because you're in a divergence trade so I'm going to be showing you and giving you some great ideas on how to trade divergence but I really want to be waving that flag and give this recommendation please do not consider trading divergence trades until you're consistently profitable as a trend trader but you also want to learn how to trade divergence you want to uh, or even more importantly learn how to recognize divergence because I'm going to show you this on the chart but when you've got a divergence trade setting up you want to be very wary in taking any further trend continuation trades but I'll show you that on the charts and another thing here is tops and bottoms are so attractive because they look good in hindsight so it's very very easy to look back and say this was a divergence trade so I just really wanted to uh, raise that uh, but can you make money absolutely however it's for the more experienced trader but for the new traders without repeating myself you've still got to learn what divergence trading is so as we go through this session I want you to have the mindset of what can you learn from this how can you use it just remember traders just that one idea may change your trading career don't forget to take notes and if you're not sure on something or I use a term uh, just simply Google it or, or YouTube it and most importantly for members remember if you do Google or YouTube don't buy anything don't keep and this is really even for the general public be careful of what I call the shiny object syndrome that is going from one thing to another now very very quickly what I'm covering here members for members watching this remember in the strategy powerpoints you will find the uh, double divergence here the t19 uh, the t89 you'll find them um, uh, the powerpoints there and don't forget also under cheat sheets so the cheat sheets you will find a number of these strategies here and just one more thing remember for new members to continually check for new recordings I'm uploading new recordings each week new uploads ebooks uh, notes a whole lot of other things into the members only area uh, under new recordings and uploads and last of all just before we move on and get stuck into the content here with your spreadsheet of uh, there's over now 300 videos here don't forget to go to the strategy go to the bottom of the spreadsheet okay so on the bottom you'll see the tabs okay day trading live trading webinars I've done NQCL Forex go and click on those and they will take you uh, if you just want to look at the master sheet okay John's videos and webinars etc the tab is at the bottom so don't forget to go under the strategies the strategies I'm talking about are either here there are 30 of them 
plus of course the live trades etc in the live webinars uh, or under new recordings okay so don't forget to check that area now moving right along here and this is for my members and for the general public traders don't use notepads or standard notepads go and invest in your spiral binders and, and members I know you hear me go on and on about this but when I do one-on-one -on -one coaching either by Skype or the face-to-face -face clients I've had when they come in I still see them using loose leaf notebooks and they end up with crap everywhere now I don't know if any of you have uh, I'm a king cook I, I love cooking and I love watching the cooking shows with professional chefs if you watch how they keep their workspace it is spotless okay they they have one thing they're focused on on their workspace they clean up as they go right they keep everything neat and tidy likewise as traders we've got to consider ourselves as pilots if you go into a cockpit it's clean and tidy get yourself spiral notebooks date the pages as I go through and as you watch my videos and other training sessions date the page write down the ideas if you if you if I go too fast on something or you're not sure play it back this is what professionals do my job as your coach is to take you to master trader status very very important that we don't forget the basics okay now as we're about to get into the strategies themselves understanding the risk don't forget traders there is a risk in trading if you haven't seen my videos or if you're not a member or even if you have and you haven't read the disclaimer for some time please pause the video read the disclaimer uh, very quickly a two second ad uh, if you haven't got one of my free training manuals please click on the description link below I've got to have a truth about day trading and also my training manual and of course make sure that you subscribe to my channel visit my website for $197 there is no upsell there's nothing else to buy there's no coaching programs you're not going to have a telemarketer ring you that's all it is to buy uh, everything my entire program my hundreds of videos powerpoints cheat sheets pardon me uh, some of the key indicators I use etc that's it all right that's also the end of the advertisement so let's get stuck into this I've got some great info for you so first of all with counter trend trading divergence trading for members watching this the t3 the t89 the v trade uh, and for the general public they're really spikes where you have a violent move where, or a V trade is basically where you get a great big move then it moves right back okay it's it's a bit like a slingshot trade and some people will even call it as a counter trend spike it's a spike in the market a t7 is a double top or a double bottom your t19 is a standard divergence trade and then of course you've got your 1ds and your 2ds which is single and double divergence these are all divergence trading then of course we have our 200 B's now for our 200 B's it really is really rather than a trend continuation trade because it's such a deep pullback that is also a counter trend trade okay so they're the sort of setups and you'll see those in the PowerPoints and cheat sheets that you really want to learn over time now very very important and let's not forget this traders is that every master was once a student okay every professional uh, you know was started at the bottom it takes time you'll pick these up you only need to focus on two or three with trend trades and you'll pick these up over a period of time now we're about to go to the charts but just a couple of key points I wanted to get across here well, I'm always asking myself as a trader do I have divergence because yes I do actively trade divergence but also it's very very important to me to be very wary of trend continuation trades when I have a divergence trade setting up now likewise do I have angulation and I'll show you what that is and that's also very very important because when you see price action angling strongly away on a 45 degree plus angle away from your 
moving averages all right the alarm bell should start to ring that you've either got a spike setting up or a potential pullback even if it's only a shallow pullback you want to be aware of that likewise where I use an anchor chart exactly the same thing do I have divergence and angulation not that I actually trade off the anchor chart but I want to be aware now do I have three hills I'm going to show you this on the first chart because when you get three hills or three waves it's a good indication of a potential retracement now you can have a big retracement or, or, or a big pullback after one but once I start to get three I'm going to become much more focused on what may be happening on my charts do I have other valid chart patterns for an example ascending and descending triangles are very very important to me now as much as usually they're not well they can be but they're not usually associated with divergence but they're still very very important um, uh, patterns that uh, I'm looking for likewise a fanning of the EMAs now fanning of them of your EMAs I use EMAs if you're using moving averages when you start to see and I use as you'll see usually four or five you'll see them when they're starting to fan apart that's a really good indication that the markets becoming overextended and I could possibly have a divergence trade setting up or even a spike setting up very very important points so let's now get straight to the charts okay so what we're looking at here and for most of these uh, examples I actually I think for all of this I'm going to be using a Renko but this is just as applicable whether you're using and Renko by the way is great for me to illustrate uh, and just remember whether you're trading and let me just actually show you this if I got it here um, is it on this chart no it's not on this chart it's on another chart um, I was just about to show you where I've got uh, Renko range and tick set up on the same chart but Renko makes it very easy and, and, and the patterns are much easier to pick up so let's start off with what do I mean by three hills okay so we can see here we're in a clear uptrend all right we can see here's one here's two and here's three so this is what I call three hills or three waves so what I'm starting to think here is the market becoming overextended uh, the probability of a retracement or a good divergence trade is, is is building because what you can see is this and let me just make sure okay I've got that let me just show you this here because what I'm starting to get and this is what I mean by angulation notice that wedge between my EMAs notice how it's starting they're fanning apart the EMAs are fanning apart on getting angulation right and getting an angle away from the EMAs this is a really good signal to me that I've got potential um, whoops uh, let me just close it sorry I'm just uh, just get this right oh, and no, I can stay there for now that I've got a potential divergence setting up then what I'm starting to see uh, on my I've got a customized MACD that I'm starting to get um, divergence setting up here now I'm also looking over at my anchor chart and I won't go into the anchor chart today we'll focus on our entry chart and what we can see here divergence uh, divergence again now here this is actually gold so it's ten dollars a tick see where there were five ticks now as a tip for you please write this down the further away your entry is from your major EMAs the better you want space you want room to move for an example on our gold EMA we get a very high percentage bounce so I have a saying follow the gold follow the gold yes I know it might be yellow but I call it the gold because this is the this leads to the gold okay if you follow this so I've got divergence here it comes down it bounces off the gold and this is what we call our our bounce our 34 B up and we get a, another divergence trade and it comes off very nicely again now the further along or the more divergence trade you have in a trend the more likely you are to have a much deeper pullback now please write this down and some of you always want to know where are the pivots where are the floor pivots you can't see them here but you will in a moment and actually you can see it over here on my anchor chart you can see one of the floor pivots here we want to know now why do we want to know because if you have 
and here we had an entry just here if your floor pivot is just above uh, your entry you'll find time and time again your divergence trades will fail the market will rally then bounce off the pivot then fall so you always want to know where your pivots are now if you get a good strong divergence trade well away from a pivot you know that you're probably going to get a bounce and then a trend continuation and I've just got here just one little tip uh, I've, I've sent a member asked me this week on how I draw channels uh, and very very quickly because one of the big challenges we have traders is is it's becoming fatigue it also becoming bored so what I recommend for all members to do you and all traders do you actively get involved in drawing trend lines so if I say draw a trend line from there to there and let's just say we've only got this price action okay so we're on the far right hand side this is all we've got let me just show you what I would do so I would draw a trend line as long as I'm touching that point there to there I then want to have what I call a parallel line I then drag that parallel line so I touch my closest point here further away which is there what I then do is extend both to the right okay so we can see we had a slight overshoot I would then extend that one to the right okay let me just extend that to the right for you okay you can see we almost touched it we'd slide overshoot a bounce that is my channel and some are a lot wider when they're narrower I prefer to have a much wider channel because this tells me here good chance I'm going to get a bounce but I may bounce off here and then continue okay now the other question before we move on and continue to talk about divergence was what do I mean by micro trend lines now a micro trend line is a much smaller trend line now members you know I love using fractal points there's one here and there's one here so you'll see me draw a trend line from there to there now what if you only get here well this is our classic 225 I'd still draw a little trend line these are micro trend lines okay these are much longer trend lines and I've got my micros on the way through so hopefully that explains that now let's continue talking about our divergence trade so what we can see here and by the way this is the globe accession it's 229 in the afternoon in my part of the world uh, it is 23 24 US time so we're getting close to midnight uh, and so we're in the globex hour so it's much slower market so we can see here we had a nice divergence trade good for seven ticks here bounced continued and we can see here we've got divergence again now we've now come up and we've hit and touched the floor pivot okay we can see that there now what I meant earlier was you've got to be careful here that um, if you have a shallow now this there wasn't divergence here but to say if there was you can see we come down we bounce and we continue when you sometimes or quite often take a poor divergence trade what actually happens is it'll come down bounce and by the time you go to stop and reverse the moves over so become very very good and stick with your trend continuation trades okay until you're consistently profitable but what I mentioned earlier you want to be very wary of taking for example this trade here when you can see you've got divergence here you wouldn't really want to enter here because it went against you because you've got strong divergence so you want to learn to recognize these divergence trades to be wary of a trend continuation straight after until you get a good decent pullback now we've got some added rules you can see the white paint bar there that's what we call the super scalper so it's giving me an entry here here and here so let's now go and have a look at another market so so what we're looking at here traders is, is this is the ES okay once again Renko well, 0.5 so two two to candles or bricks if you really want to be technical on it now this is a typical V trade some people would call this a spike or a t89 we can see where prices rallied up now look at the angulation now at this stage we do not have divergence all right now this is rolling over slightly but it's not true to divergence okay it's not but it's a V trade all right run up and you can see then it comes back down that's great now 
over here then we end up getting a double top now let me pull this up because I just want to show you this this is very important okay let me just uh, come on let's do this okay um, just one moment I've got to get this back okay here we go uh, once again my video is always real raw and unedited trade <laughs> so I have to was I have any fluff up you'll have to forgive me okay so what we end up with is a, is this is what I call a big picture double top now on the anchor chart you can see here that it's it's a lot more prominent uh, a lot more obvious now just remember a double top I'm happy if it's if I've got it's within two or three ticks okay I then actually jumped in and shorted this one this is uh, last night um, you know I was come upstairs I saw this great I actually got in this I should have been in over here I actually got in and just scalped this for five ticks uh, on the years five contracts shorted for, for plus five ticks this is a great double top it was also what we call a 2d I had double top on both markets now it come back it actually could have delivered a lot more as you can see there it had a nice rally but double tops are a great okay so when you get look for double tops and double bottoms when you have divergence and I'm going to show you a few more of these in a moment because it's very very important see we come down we then had a bounce we rallied up I then shorted I was in very late if you had been if I had been buying a computer we would have been in this over here now always be wary when you take a divergence trade of a bounce off the gold off your major EMAs so just be ready to either pull your stops in or to take your profits okay uh, look at your anchor chart how far away are the majors on your anchor chart because they can be at times a better target than your entry chart now I'm going to show you another classic double bottom so we can see here we come down for a V trade nice little um, we had a slight overshoot here we then uh, if we look over here we rallied up we had a bounce off our EMAs come down we formed a perfect double bottom and what else did I have at this double bottom I had divergence okay so I had a classic a classic 200 uh, sorry I had a classic um, uh, t7 divergence trade now this is where it comes down to experience because these are beautiful trades the thing is though is to be patient right I've got uh, a great and this is effectively members a t10 it, it, even though it's a double bottom you could still classify this as a t10 as well now just uh, while we're on here I just thought I'd mark this up and just point this out uh, this was yesterday at the high of the day and you can see we had a nice V trade now a V trade is there actually was some divergence okay I actually had some divergence there and I look at my anchor chart I had divergence uh, so that was tradable we then had a couple of trend continuations and this actually was a an ascending triangle you can see my trend line off the fractal points so notice I've got a nice uptrend but then notice here I've got a horizontal this is a classic ascending triangle now you've got to believe in these now natural fact I am um, the market had rallied up and what you generally find is you'll punch through the highs by at least two or three ticks you get to know these patterns this was the high of the globe accession so I actually only had a three tick target now I could have got um, five ticks on it but I jumped out right at the and if I remember correctly this that was the exact day's high so I actually had a target of five ticks I uh, which was two ticks above the high I decided to front run there were a heap of orders we could see on the uh, dome depth of market there were a ton of orders one tick above the high of the day so I decided to get out with three ticks it was a nice very very high probability trade uh, now not that that was divergence but I just wanted to uh, point that out now you did actually have a double top here see here to here and you had divergence but notice how close to the major EMAs we were notice here there's a nice gap and a nice bounce possibility here there was no great rundown at that stage something I really recommend if you're best of the best usually it's nice to see as I mentioned earlier a good gap between there and there in your major EMAs 
still on the same market still on the ES uh, later on in the evening there was a perfect uh, once again a nice V trade okay I noticed the mark and some people once again call this a spike down the market spiked down rallied up slightly come down formed a perfect double bottom so what I would say to you as a new trader uh, until you're consistently profitable make sure you have divergence on it on your MACD your RSI your CCI whatever oscillator you may be using now here's one of the arguments I hear but I'm a pure price action trader well that's fantastic uh, and yes you will get in quite often one or two candles earlier before you have an indicator however you've probably um, uh, um, you know you've probably heard that the early bird always catches the worm but it's the second mouse that gets the cheese now for those of you that may that may have gone over your head what it means is it's the first mouse that runs in gets the cheese and the mouse trap gets them it's the second one that comes in and manages to nibble away the cheese after the traps gone off likewise in a case like this this is the second mouse okay yes you've had to wait longer but what we've ended up with is a beautiful double bottom with divergence it can be safer now if you're consistently profitable and you can see we've got trend trades firing off left right and center here okay look at our bounces here and um, and if you're using the trigger line 8 you, you're just getting these beautiful runs so you're cashing the money you can afford to perhaps take some up some high risk but just be aware of that uh, now here's a, a another little uh, divergence trade I took now with this one I scalped uh, just five contracts for five ticks now what made this good as a divergence trade now we can see here we had a divergence trade here nice rally up now just be aware traders where you have to be extremely suspicious of a divergence trade is when you see price in a tight channel okay now this is not you know you've got slight angulation okay but if you're not sure you actually had divergence here I always wait for my super scalper to plot okay which was there uh, but this is almost a channel now if I get price action channeling in a night in a, in a narrow trading range I will always wait or should always wait sometimes I do forget if I'm distracted for a double top which is this one here so I got in and scalped yes I know I could have got 10 ticks out of this move if I'd have stayed in it etc and he was yes I know he was a t10 a nice secondary entry was right there but uh, this also was if I remember correctly this was about uh, 9 p.m. my time so I'm in and out downstairs back up to the office in and out with the family so I jumped in saw this lovely little double top here after a channel this dramatically improves the probability so as you can see traders it's you know it's not difficult to make money from divergence trading but 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 what you've got to watch is channels what you've got to watch is um, not being too close to the EMAs yes this was very close to the EMAs but I've been off a channel I had a nice little double top so for me and there were a couple of other things that members you'll recognize here that made the, the trade qualify now I just want to show you a losing trade then a winning trade in a moment uh, but very quickly here is another classic double bottom price sections come down with bounced off the 200 which is very very common okay this is a real danger area you can see price section come up shot through the pivot come down we've got some um, confluence of our EMAs come down uh, you could have taken that short your, your stop by the way should be I would recommend one tick below here one tick above there if you had have taken this for a short had have gone long here so you would have been mighty fine but you see these are always danger areas where you see the EMAs coming together like this but what we had was this so let me just show you we then got a nice double bottom with divergence thank you very much for a beautiful rally up now I know I keep chopping and changing up because I'm going to show you uh, one more trade uh, actually two more trades then we'll wrap this video up okay so these these are a bit uh, messy actually and I've actually got oops uh, 
I come up to place one of those VAT ES trade I had before saw the NQ and I jumped on the NQ and I actually got stopped on this trade actually these markers have moved I've had to trade the computer going 24 hours just remember traders to reboot your your computer every 12 hours that's what I do um, um, have a run the virus do it do a number of things anyway I won't go into that right now but I put down oops it was a divergence trade and this is what I mean if you wanted to uh, wait for the best of the best I got stopped on this trade but then I jumped in after this formed a beautiful double top because why did I take this as a divergence trade it's almost a channel okay this wasn't a great one but I'd had an extended move I'd really had a couple of potential opportunities I should have actually shorted up here now, this is the NQ by the way I should have shorted here I got in late all right I then got stopped on that trade it formed a beautiful double top so I shorted again and I picked up uh, let me just tell you let me just go to the trading dome uh, the 12 ticks it was so I picked up 12 ticks on this move here uh, which is uh, $60 so I lost uh, that was $60 picked up $60 on that double top so just in closing traders uh, we can see here like we had a this is on the NQ nice little double top here this is 8 30 in the morning had a nice V trade here uh, you had a little you had a V trade there trend continuation you had a little double bottom here look every market has its own personality the NQ is totally different to the ES the YM is different to the NQ gold is totally a total different animal likewise you get to the Forex market you've got particularly very fast moving markets um, uh, during the prime times of say the London open the New York open uh, same when you get to the stocks in watching for your divergence trades and with any of the setups that I teach so what's very very important is that you apply what I teach and you gain screen time you master the art of trading by spending the time and this is where a lot of traders are just not willing to put the time in you need to go into the simulator and just remember he who bleeds more so uh, yeah he who bleeds more in pro sorry let me say it again he who sweats more in practice bleeds less in war and it's true that is the more work you do before you go live it's very very important you need to treat this as a 90 to 180 day internship traders mastering the art of trading is not rocket science but what you've got to do is invest the time if you're say um, uh, in the US where probably 90% uh, of my members are you get home at 6 p.m. the Globex markets open you've got still some great action on uh, gold uh, CL uh, some of the currency futures you'll still get some moves you've got um, uh, the ES the NQ you just have to drop the time frames down now if you're trading very quickly if you say trading normally the ES and you're using a 550 tick chart you might want to drop down to maybe an 89 volume or a 144 tick during the globe session that's if you're not trading Renko so just lower the time frames down and um, uh, the, and just one more thing no no I'll actually finish it here <laughs> just looking at here um, uh, we're 33 minutes in so traders if you're not a member visit my website to gain further information 197 is everything as you probably gathered uh, this is the most comprehensive program in the world truly is but learn and master the art of divergence trading traders uh, if you're a trend trader you'll recognize when to stay out if once you're consistently profitable trend trading it will dramatically increase your bottom line taking the golden that is the great V trades the great divergence trades thank you traders I'll see you on the next video